all. Um, I just want to talk about an article that I read uh, last Thursday. It was uh, titled um, Why is Qatar taking over Britain? It was an article in the Daily Express. Um, it says it all for, for me for a number of reasons. Um, I thought it for a while now and um, it's, this article has really highlighted it for me. Um, why the royal family, they don't seem to be, um, I've, I've been thinking for a while, they don't seem to be speaking out on the issues. You've had the, the fact that the Queen has signed the uh, Lisbon Treaty Agreements and, and things that, to, to not give the people a referendum. And then I find out and read this article by Leo McKinstry in Daily Express on Thursday titled, if you Google it, you'll, you'll, you'll see the particular article I'm talking about. It's actually titled, uh, Why is uh, Qatar Taking Over Britain? Really good piece it is, uh, and it's confirmed for me what we already know. I cannot understand in this country why we continually sell out all our institutions and our really good... Anything like the Shard Tower in London, we just sell anything. Every commodity, every utility, every... Uh, all our energy, come, our energy comes from France and stuff like that. Anything that we did have that was good in this country, we stripped off and sold, privatised. Look at the Royal Mail, things like that. Everything. And now... Anything that's worth any value or any de anything that's decent in this country has been sold. It's been sold to Islamic states like Qatar, which go a long way to funding terrorism, uh, uh, along with the likes of Saudi Arabia. Um, I read an article, really important article, in Money Week recently called "The End of Britain." You can have a look at that too, if you if you wish. An excellent piece about our economy and how we've been fed all this bullshit in the media about how our economy's recovering and stuff it isn't at all in five years if this is a recovery I'd hate to see a uh, a, a real recession and depression because this is nonsense it's crazy we're not growing at all we are in serious serious trouble we now are our deficit uh, our total debt is at well no not even our total debt the debt that has been marked down, we're running at about one and a half trillion pounds. The debt that we've had to bail the banks out for, the toxic banks that uh, got us into this, um, hasn't even been included in the accounts, in the figures, it, in this one and a half trillion. If you added it all up, I think our total debt at the minute, and it's going upwards every second as we speak, is running at about 2.2 .2 trillion pounds. Um, it's like uh, most of our gross domestic product we, in, in one year. We, 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 if it goes beyond this soon uh, and, and interest rates go up, they're being kept artificially low at the minute by by the Bank of England who are doing the government's bidding. And, uh, and there's been a gradual decline over the years uh, in interest rates uh, that has led to, 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 to government borrowing being at record lows. But sooner or later, and we can't. Nobody knows when. But sooner or later, that uh, those interest rates are going to start to go up, and even half a percent or a percent is absolutely going to put push us over the precipice. We are going to fall through the floor. There's going to be defaults majorly on, on mortgages and, all, and God knows what. We we really have had it. I don't think people realise, and I think this sellout to Qatar and Islam in general. Um, we are, our governments, our royal family, I think know the, uh, the, the full scale of, of the problems that we are really in in this country and what we are facing, what the liberal metropolitan elites have got us into, the bankers, uh, they've got us into the scale, it's, 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 off, it's off the scale, what, the trouble we're in financially. They are terrified because they're relying on people's votes that they can't let, uh, they can't, default, the government in no way, shape or form are going to be allowed to default, so sooner or later the only thing left available to them is to start stealing the public's money and they're going to start doing that through tax increases and other stuff after this general election in 2015 so it's imperative that we do the right thing and vote for UKIP and get this crooked, rotten government out because if they God knows, if they win, if Cameron or Conservatives or Labour win the next election outright we are, going to, we are finished 
totally finished. It's the end, folks. It really is the end. You might as well pack up and leave because uh, you, you're not going to know anything like it. You're going to be hit like a bomb. We're, we're about to fall, and um, what they're doing, they know the only way out is to sell out to the people that have got the money now, which is a scary thing, and the oil rich nations like Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Yemen. I like to, I liken them to the axis of evil, actually. They are evil. Saudi Arabia in particular is an appalling human rights record, as does Qatar. They really aren't forward-thinking nations. Uh, Qatar in particular won a... Uh, won the World Cup off the back of uh, corruption, really. Uh, and the, regarding their, their... I saw articles about the stadium building and stuff, and the way workers are trapped. Many have fallen to their deaths, they've been beaten, they're not being paid. It's absolutely disgusting that we allow... We, 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 we allow Islam to take over our nations. We appease them because we need their money. I mean, I'm sorry, I'd rather live with a donkey in a car and have nothing than, than appease Islam. Let's just default and fall through the floor. We need to get away from central banks. We need a, a currency away from central banks. We need a closed currency. Um, and we're, at the end of the day, we're... We can't keep doing this. We we need some sort of way of governing ourselves and get away from all these uh, shysters and corrupt politicians, the EU and Marxist, cultural Marxists, uh, just quasi-dictators. We need to get away from it. And central bankers, um, they are all pure evil. Um, we've seen nothing like it. We're going to see. We're going to see war. We're going to end up like Ukraine the way it's going. If we don't do something about it sooner, we do not get UKIP into a position where we hold the balance of power. It is absolutely curtains for this country. Curtains for for my daughter, your kids, your grandkids. I despair. Please, guys, do as much research as you can and wise up. We need to wake up. These people are sellouts, are traitors. People like Cameron Blair have continually sold us out to the EU SSR. We've got a total dictatorship. We're governed by Germany. They're all Bolshevists, Bolshevik dictators. All these Eastern Europeans that are flooding in. They all have. They're all allowed to vote, and they all have commie principles. What the? They're doing it for a reason. It's for reasons that, that they've even admitted to. Peter Mandelson admitted that Labour sent out search parties to Eastern Europe in exchange. They know that they're going to... that The people that are going to feel grateful for them letting them in are going to then vote for Labour. It's just common sense. They know, the, they know that the party is on their side. The immigrants' party is Labour. They'll get the votes and then... Eventually, when they get big enough, democracy says that they'll take over. And then they'll just do away with the people that let them in it. And then they'll form their own parties. And then we really are going to be under a serious dictatorship. It's, it's, it's coming. It really is coming. And if you don't wise up, war is coming to our shores. We need to stop it. We need to... Along with all these postal votes, we must stop this postal voting. If we can do that, Labour will be finished in this country. They are pure evil, pure enemies of this state. Of, of of the British people, the only way they are still surviving and alive today is because of the postal rotten postal voting system. They even exploit people's voters. They go to old people's houses and register them, lean on them a bit, and say, oh, "We'll fill your form in and all that, and fill it in for them and vote for them and stuff." It's been proven. You've only got to look at Tower Hamlets to see how how this is getting us. Where Islamists are queuing at the doors to put pressure on people and and help them and say. Or supposedly help them say, so we'll, we'll, we'll sort this out for you, we'll fill your form in for you and stuff. And they're voting for who they want voted in. It's uh, pure corruption on a grand scale. Uh, it needs to stop. And the only way to stop it is please vote for the people, the, the people's party, the people's army that are about to bring revolution, purple revolution to our shores. Please vote UKIP, guys. It's the only way, it's the only way we're going to survive. For the British people, for a future, for independence, for your kids' futures, for your grandkids' futures, I urge you, please do it. Please mark an X. United Kingdom Independence Party. The clue is in the name. United Kingdom Independence. That is what we strive for. 
That is what we want. It's the only way to keep this country alive. Please do it, folks. You know it makes sense. Thank you.